Master? Now serving here again? What's the matter? Can't bring yourself to tear into the neck of some quote-unquote innocent? All that blood out there, and you have to buy the prepackaged stuff. That's okay. I understand. I forgive you. I, I meant no offense. I have respect for you. I just meant that all that power, and you don't even use it. Seems wasteful, shameful. All these sheep, all these happy-go-lucky nine-to-five tools walking around oblivious. If one or two or three or four of them go missing, the flock grazes on. Survival? Since when has survival had nothing to do with murder? Murder is what mankind and your kind do best. Can you look me in the eyes and tell me you've never killed anyone? How about it, Saint? Yes or no? To survive. My point exactly. Those that kill survive. The soldier that kills the other soldier first lives. The nation that kills the most enemies wins the war. It's the natural order of life. You are a predator. I respect that. I envy you. Oh. Oh, no. Wouldn't like that. Wouldn't like that, Queen Bitch. Queen Bitch would say... Now serving number 26? Number... Oh. Oh no, wouldn't like that, wouldn't like that, queen bitch. Queen bitch would say no to that. <laughs> mustn't do it, mustn't do it, must do it. Yes. Need a ride?
I'll scream. Hey, you! You watch your fortune, Red? You give me five dollar, I give you secret Chinese enlightenment. Only stupid person not want to know future. Five dollar. That guy you work with, yeah, he take all credit for your idea. Your fortune? Welcome, kindred, and thank you for respecting our traditions by announcing your presence in our domain. I am Ming Zhao, High Priestess to the people of Chinatown. Can I get you anything? Tea, perhaps? Ah, that is right. Your kind drink solely of mortal blood, correct? No longer may you partake in the simple pleasures of the mortal realm. A shame. We are called the Kuei Jin, though you may know us as Eastern Vampires. It is a grave misnomer, I can assure you. In a sense, yes. You may think of me as the Baron of Chinatown, to borrow from your course, Canite language. <laughs> no. We are not simply some exotic canite bloodline. <laughs> we are supernatural. That does not mean we are like yourself. We are beings returned through the second breath for a purpose. The second breath, our rebirth into the supernatural form. It is a spiritual awakening, not some lowly blood ritual meant to spread a despicable curse. We share superficial similarities. Kuei-jin feed on essences that can be found in blood, yes. But as we refine our existence, rarely are we lowered to consume the bodily fluids of others. No, we do not choose, but events of our lives can awaken dark spiritual energies. We are not born of the whims of another as the kindred are. The reasons are as numerous as the Quajin themselves. Each is reborn with a purpose that they must find. Once their path is evident, they must seek to fulfill it even if it takes eternity. On the contrary, it is another chance for us to find our place in the universe. A chance for transcendence. We are not damned, not burdened with an ancient guilt as in the legend of your biblical progenitor. Of course, the entire city is alight with news of its arrival and speculation about one of your ancient vampire grandfathers and his evil apocalyptic plot. Kuei Jin do not share your history, nor do we share in your false prophecies. It all serves to distract the kindred. Such a distasteful existence you live, skulking in the shadows, fighting for scraps and fearing the return of your fictitious fathers, completely oblivious to your true purpose. 
No, I do not. But with my help, you might find the path you were meant for. Instead, you stumble through the afterlife, a meaty remnant still clinging to the mortal rib. We seek it, of course. I have two of my best agents looking. It could be a powerful bargaining tool. Let me just say that I do not encourage you to seek the Ankaran sarcophagus. What can I help you with? There is much kindred have to learn about our ways. Humans, what is it you would like to know? In our homeland, man and supernatural live in uneasy harmony. Our mortals see spirituality in all things, and our existence is taken for granted. An open secret is the easiest to keep. We do, in fact. Our purpose is to seek transcendence. Interfering in mortals' lives, or their interference in Quajin unlives, detracts from this pursuit. My purpose touches many lives. Such is my path. I mean it in the most practical sense. Does the parent show the child contempt by protecting it? To help those weaker than oneself is a tenet of my order. The mortals of our domain are blessedly humble, simple, and content to avoid supernatural attention, which is more than can be said for Western stock. Were we not all human at one point? It is not obvious, kindred, that mortality is not the end. Is it then not unreasonable to think that further existences lie beyond? That we are all simply transforming? This is what we seek, or at least as best as I can explain it to you. What can I help you with? There is much kindred have to learn about our ways. Yes? On the contrary, it is another chance for us to find our place in the universe. A chance for transcendence. We are not damned, not burdened with an ancient guilt, as in the legend of your biblical progenitor. Of course. What can I help you with? There is much. Yes? Ah, yes. I am aware that you dispatched one of our operatives. It is of little consequence. What can I help you with? There is much. What can I help you with? So, the great Nosferatu have lost an agent, have they? It was not by my hand, if that's what they think. I don't know where he is. Perhaps you should speak with Wong Ho about this. Wong Ho owns the Red Dragon Restaurant. He is a prominent businessman who has garnered much respect among his people. If something is amiss in Chinatown, he may know how to help you. I grant you permission to operate in the Quajin Domain. For now, may you find your path, Kindred. Welcome back, Kindred. Do you seek guidance? What can I help you? No.
back off. Ah. <sighs> 